Hi guys, it's Jackie coming back with another trip flip video and for today's video we're gonna transform this nonsense into this song. Carefully rip the seams using seam ripper, then save the waistband, zipper, and pocket for later. but I'm making it 26 just in case so I want my pleats to be 2 inch 2 inch wide so I'm gonna be 26 divided by 2 it will be 13 13 pleats and I want like the pleats to go 3 and a half inches wide so times 3 and a half So we need 71.5 inches, 71.5 inches wide, but we, we're gonna do two strips. I made two strips of this, so I made 35, maybe it's, let's say 36, and then I added one inch and one inch here. So it's gonna look like this. 36 1 1 and 1 so we need two rectangles like this we're gonna want one inch here and then two inch and then three and a half two inch three and a half two inch so you're gonna just fold it and fold it and then so on and so forth you can also make this a little smaller you can make it you can make it three you can make it two and a half like two and a half it, it just should be bigger than this amount it should be bigger than this pleat you have and make sure you have one inch of seam allowance on the side seams and one inch here as well so to make the big rectangle on the skirt, I am cutting small rectangles and sew them together to make big rectangles. Make sure you save as much as fabric as you can and save all your scrap fabric if you want to continue doing the top because on this project, you're basically going to use at least 95% of the materials from these pants. I search the sides to hide all the rough edges. I iron my fabric and I mark where the pleats will go using my tape measure and bits.
I sewed the top to secure the place of the piece. Next, using your tape measure, measure 4.5 inches down from the waist and spread it by half an inch and secure it with the pin. Then top stitch it with just regular straight stitch. Sew the side seams at one inch. Iron the side seams and place the zipper in the middle of one of the side seams and secure it with pins. Just using the regular straight stitch, sew on the sides of the zipper. Then open the side seam using a seam ripper. Adjust your waistband to the size of your waist. I already resized mine and what you'll do is sandwich the skirt on the waistband. I know other people do the waistband differently but for this project, this is how I'll do it. The waistband from the men's pants that I had already had the buttons and extra safety crooks on it so I didn't need to include more on it. Just snip all the unnecessary threads and you're done with the skirt. After the skirt, I still have all this scrap fabrics and I figured out what to do with it. So I just made it to a top. First, I searched the edges. it and top stitch it with a uh, regular straight stitch and then iron all of them. long in making this is that I cannot decide what the look on the top I wanted so for this one I just drape and drape and drape until I was satisfied what it will look like so yeah
use all the small scrap fabrics and the fabric from the pockets to make the ribbon. After I sewed it, I ironed it and attached it to the top that I did. Triplet, 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 okay. Okay, na na 